Hello everyone, my name's Brody, and on today's episode of Brody's Learning Adventure, we'll be learning about the 13 colonies. New settlements joined Jamestown on the eastern coast. Chartered colonies, under the control of a joint stock company with a charter. Examples, Connecticut and Rhode Island. Pro Propriority colonies, under the control of the person whose property the land was. Uh, example, Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Royal colonies, under the control via an ex appointed governor of, of English royalty. Examples, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, which started as propriority colonies and later became royal colonies. Let me show you the 13 colonies. The blue one is the New England colonies. The green one is the middle colonies. And the orange one is the southern colonies. The blue ones were Plymouth, Massachusetts Bay, 1620. New Hampshire, 1629. And you know the rest if you watched the, if you saw this. The Southern Colonies Established After Virginia Maryland George Calvert George Lord Baltimore wanted to set up a place for fellow Catholics. He requested a charter for King Charles the Fourth Charles the First in sixteen thirty two. His son, Celius, inherited the proprietary colony. Proprietary colony and named it Maryland. Although it was meant to be a safe place for Catholics, Protestants moved in too, causing conflicts. In 1649, Lord Baltimore issued the Act of Toleration, which made it illegal to prosecute persecute any Christian for his religion. However, in 1654, the Protestants gained control of the local government and revoked the act. Prosecution is punished or harassed, usually because of one's identity. The Carolinas. Carolina comes from Carolus, the Latin form for Charles. After a civil war in England, Charles II became king in 1660. To reward the aristocrats who had supported him, he gave them a pro-priority colony south of Virginia, which they named Carolina. Most people in the northern half were originally Virginians. Most in the southern half came directly from England, with slaves attracted by farmlands, religious tolerance, and self <laughs> It became difficult to rule both sides as one unit. The people of the more prosperous South Carolina split from the colony's rule. In 1729, North and South Carolina became royal colonies. Georgia. Georgia was the last British colony founded in North America. In 1732, James Oldthorpe received a charter from King George II to establish a colony for debtors. Debtors is someone in debt. People unable to pay back money could be sent to jail at the time, and poor people to make a new start. The king saw Georgia as a buffer between the colonies and Spanish Florida. Because it was an alternative to jail, Oldthorpe had strict rules. No larger plantations, no rum, few slaves, and no Catholics. Few settlers were actually debtors, however. Oldthorpe gave up on his plan, and in 1752... 1752, Georgia also became a royal colony. Puritans and pilgrims. Some people settled in North America for religious freedom. Catholics in England had been prosecuted since the establishment of the Church of England. Ang Anglicans, and there was constant fighting between Catholic and Protestant nations. Catholics weren't the only persecuted Christians. Puritans wanted to reform the Church of England so that it would be more pure or closer, they believed, to the text of the Bible. Separatists wanted to start their own church from scratch. Class, I'll be right back. I gotta go check on something.
1608, many separatists fled England for Holland. Later, they formed a joint stock company and were given permission from the Virginia Company to settle in North America. They thought of themselves as pilgrims. A pilgrim is one who travels to a secret place as an act of religious devotion. The Mayflower and the Mayflower Compact. On September 16, 1620, a ship called the Mayflower left England. Not everyone on board was a pilgrim. They were bound for Virginia, but after two months of sailing, they spotted land farther north in New England. They had decided to settle there instead, where they could make their own rules. On September 21st, 1620, before they went ashore, the men led by William Bradford signed the Mayflower Compact, a covenant agreeing to obey just and equal laws created for the general good of the colony in order to benefit the glory of God and the honor of our King of England. A covenant is an agreement or promise with religious overtones. The pilgrims landed at Cape Cod and later chose to settle at Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts. Thanksgiving in Plymouth. That first winter in Plymouth, about half the pilgrims died from cold and starvation. The rest were saved when two Native Americans, Samoset and Squanto, helped them make peace with the local Wampanoag tribe, whose leader was Massasoit, and taught them to grow maize and other crops. That's where we get the myth for the first Thanksgiving, with the idea that the pilgrims celebrated it by inviting Massasoit and his people to a harvest feast. New England Colonies Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Hampshire Massachusetts, in 1630, led by John Winthrop, about 900 people settled in Boston. Sorry, class, about the interruption. Let's continue. Their goal was to start a perfect Christian society, a concept known as a city on a hill. A general court was established to create local laws. It was made up of representatives, but only male members of the church, those who were elect, or elect or thought to be chosen by God, could vote. Elect means not elected, but thought to be chosen by God. Meanwhile, the Puritans of England were feeling more and more threatened by religious perse persecution. Tens of thousands left between 1629 and... <laughs> Sorry, class, I gotta deal with this real quick. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes. It's the Great Migration. Charles I. I get granted the Massachusetts Bay Company, a Puritan joint stock company, a charter to establish a colony near Plymouth, the Salem Witch Trials in 1622 in Salem, Massachusetts. Some young girls accused people of casting spells on them. A special court was formed to put to judge witchcraft cases. The court went off and forth confessions from the accused. Although people eventually admitted that they had been made false accusations by the time the witch scare ended, 19 people have been executed for witchcraft. Connecticut. Thomas Hooker, a minister, disagreed with John Winthrop's leader, leadership. He led his congregation to found Hartford. Congregation is a group of people brought together for religious per worship. Or Connecticut in 1636, Hartford and two other towns joined together to become their own colony, and Hooker drafted the Fundamental Orders of Connecticut, the first written constitution in North America under the orders. Male citizens who were not thought to be elect could still vote. Rhode Island. Roger Williams, another Massachusetts minister, believed that people shouldn't be forced to go to church, that settlers should pay Native Americans for land, and that church and state should be separate. This was so controversial that she was banished from Massachusetts in 1636. Banished means forced to leave or no longer welcome. His congregation followed him and founded Providence. In 1638, Anne Hutchinson was banished from Massachusetts because she believed in personal revelation and that ministers don't need to be members of the elect. Another reason for her banishment was probably that she was a woman who spoke out. Hutchinson and her sympathizers founded Portsmouth near Providence. In 1644, the area became the colony of Rhode Island and Providence plantations. 
New Hampshire. In 1638, Anne Hutchinson's brother-in-law, John Wheelwright, fled Massachusetts for similar reasons. He led people who agreed with him north and founded the town of Exeter. Exeter. The area became the independent colony of New Hampshire in 1679. King Philip's War. In 1675, three members of the Wampanoag tribe were tried tried and executed by the English for a murder. The Wampanoag chief met a comet, known as King Philip to the settlers, son of Massasoit, felt that the British had no right to execute his people. Also, the Wampanoag were losing land in spite of efforts to compromise with the British. War broke out, and hundreds of settlers and many Wampanoag were killed, including Metacomet. The English claimed victory, with help from their trading partners, the Pequot and Mohegan tribes. Afterward, the English expanded into Native American lands faster than ever. The Middle Colonies New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware New York New Netherland was a driving Dutch colony, seeing the large number of prosperous Dutch people between New England and Virginia. England wanted this land for itself. In 1664, England sent a fleet and, a, and, and, unprepared for a battle, the Dutch surrendered. The colony was renamed New York after the Duke of York, who got it as a pro-priority colony. York, York, York. New Jersey. The Duke of York gave some of his land to Lord John Berkeley and Sir George Carteret, who named it New Jersey. They attracted settlers by starting a representative assembly and offering large amounts of land, but because New Jersey had no harbor, it was hard to make a profit. They sold their share <coughs> of ownership in the colony, and the colony reverted to the king's control in 1702. Pennsylvania. New Jersey had a large population of Quakers, a religious group later called the Religious Society of Friends, who were said to tremble or quake before God and who had been banished from New England. The Quaker beliefs of equality and of the sexes, nonviolence, and tolerance felt like a threat to Puritans. King Charles II handed over land to Quaker William Penn in 1681 to pay off a debt Charles owned Penn's family. Penn established Pennsylvania, where Quakers would have religious freedom, and founded Philadelphia. It attracted thousands of people and became one of the largest cities in North America. The Mason-Dyson line was originally a line of rocks laid down by two people named Mason and Dixon to, to mark the border between Pennsylvania and Maryland. Delaware. Penn also got land from the Duke of York. Delaware was south of his other holdings and was occupied by a large Swedish population. It was still officially part of Pennsylvania, but Penn let them govern themselves. Pause the video now to think of the answers for yourself. On to the answers. One, what were the three types of Brit- I mean, here's a quiz to see if you've been paying attention. Okay, here are the questions. What were the three types of British colonies in North America? Why did Carolina split into North and South? What is the difference between a Puritan and a Separatist? What was the Mayflower Compact promise? Why did Roger Williams leave Massachusetts to ra ra found Rhode Island? What did their loss in King Philip's War mean for Native Americans? And how did the Quakers get their name? Pause the video now to get the answers for yourself. To think of the answers for yourself, that's what I meant. On with the answers. 1. Royal Property and Charter. 2. The southern part of Carolina was wealthier, and the sides were too different to rule at the same time. Eventually, South Carolina split from colonial rule. 3. Puritans wanted to purify the existing English church separatists. Wanted to, want to start their own church. 4. The Mayflower Compact was a promise to obey just and equal laws created for the general good of the colony in order to benefit the glory of God and the honor of our King of England. 5. He disagreed with the church in Massachusetts. For example, he believed in the separation of church and state that settlers should pay Native Americans for land and people shouldn't be obligated to go to church. 6. Expansion of English settlers into their lands accelerated. and 7. They were said to tremble before God. Be sure to like, 
comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, so that way you won't miss any of my new episodes. This is Brody, signing out.